Hello. Some Studio Press themes have a colour style button that lets you choose different colour schemes. However, if your Studio Press theme doesn't come with one of these uh, style switching buttons, um, it's still quite easy to change the colour scheme if you know what you're doing. So, how do we do it? This is um, a theme called Enterprise, and I've just changed some of the colours. Now, if you look at the original, so here we've got a nav bar that's quite dark and then a, a lighter grey nav bar and we've got this blue panel here and a grey bar here that goes right across so we're going to change the nav bar this blue panel and this bit here so let's get stuck in first of all what we need to do it, when you um when you look at wordpress on your website i'll just tidy that up a bit so it looks a bit that's confusing. When you look at WordPress on your website, you get all these files and folders. This is what makes WordPress work on your website, on your web space. So, if you go into cPanel or your FTP program, however you access your web space, you'll see this WordPress content uh, folder. So open that, then you've got a themes folder. We'll open that one. And we're using the enterprise theme. So, inside the enterprise theme, we've got an images folder. Now, here are all the theme, the, the, the um, image files that we can see when we look at this web page. So, there's one image file that makes this colour here, one that makes this colour, one that makes this colour, there's another one that does the middle bit here, and there's one for this blue bit. So, I'm just going to show you how to change this bar in the middle. But you can change all the other images in the same way. This is the most complicated bit, that's why I'm showing you that one. So, we need to open up... Oh, wrong one there. The, um, what I've done, I've copied all of the images on the website, of all of the theme images, because you've got different types of images. I've opened up the themes folder, copied all those images onto my desktop. I'm then going to change them on the desktop. I've changed some already to save time. And then we're going to upload them again to the web server. Now there's only one that's um, a bit confusing. And if you look here, there's a file called PSD, which means Photoshop, they're, they're Photoshop files. Now Photoshop costs about six or 700 pounds. So we're going to use a, a free image editing tool that can do a, a really good job and it doesn't cost you any money at all. So we'll open up this uh, Photoshop file here um, the one we're actually going to use is called um, Home Top. It's that one. So we'll just copy it. And we're going to move back down to the Images folder and paste it in there. Right. So, the way we found out which image we needed is just more or less guesswork. If we come over here and look at the different uh, there's not that many files um, uh, available to us. These are all image files, all the different coloured ones are images. So all we needed to do was go to this page, see roughly what colour the image is that we're going to use, and then we're going to see if this is one with a name that sounds it's the right colour and sounds like it could be the right one. So grey grey images, we've got home top wrap, home top, that's a grey one. We've got this nav hover which nav hover doesn't sound like it's what we want so really the only ones we've got to choose from is this home top wrap and home top apart from that little gradient button there um, so but if we open this home top wrap you see it looks it's got that shaded um, shadowy piece there so it looks all to start with it looks like the right one so if you want to make sure you've got the right one, the easiest way to do it is go to your web server where your, web, your images are and pick the one you think is the right image and then just change the name. So if we call that backup, so if we've kept the same name but we've just added backup to the front of it. And now if we refresh the page and see if this image disappears. Now I don't know if you noticed that but there's a a little image there that's just disappeared it was that shadow so we've got the right one right now what we need to do 
is to edit that image now because it's it, it's made of some layers this particular one I'm sure the reason I'm showing you this particular image is because it's a Photoshop uh, image most of these are not they're just uh, called PNGs which are much easier to deal with so we found that one in this folder here and we've moved it copied it into the images folder so we'll open it up using the GIMP, uh, GIMP image editing software there we are it's open I'll make a cleaner background so it's uh, easier for us to deal with I don't think that's going to work is it um, there we go just makes it a bit easier for you to see what's going on right so this is the image that we're going to edit and if you look here we've got layers and I've tested different layers to see which one uh, gets us the result we want and if we select this layer 13 that's uh, shape 13 there and we just change the color so I've already selected a color here we're just going to pour that color in which is a bit of a pinky color and then we're going to save this file but you can see the thing called save it for the web you need special types of images to use on the internet they, they download more quickly so we'll click save for web and then we'll save it as a PNG because that's what it was before click the save button we now want to save it on our desktop in the enterprise folder on it and in images which is where it came from and that particular image was called uh, it was called home top but just as look as it on this particular theme we need to change it with a different name they've changed the name as they made the theme so it's called home top uh, home top wrap wasn't it right so it's going to replace the original we can close this one but we've edited now we don't need it anymore we go back to our images folder the one we've just made is this home top wrap there so all we need to do now is drag that into our um, to, to our web space to the to the theme folder on our web space or the images folder inside the theme folder on our web space and that's going to overwrite the image that was already there right so let's go back and see if it worked so now we've got this grey colour here and it's going to change to a pinky colour there we go now there's another pinky colour here which we can soon change have a look that, that's that home top there so if we change that one I'm not sure if I've changed that one already actually we'll have a look nope so we'll change that one so open it up in GIMP this all we need to do fill it with that color and then save it back to the same place we, we got it from right now I'll just show you what we've got so far that will make this all center bar a different color oh, let's see if we've saved it we haven't dragged it across there we need to drag this one onto our web space there we go and check it right so we've done that bit now I've already made the images for the um, the nav bars and for this bit so just to save a bit of time all I had to do with them was just change the colors so let's that's the nav bar we've changed nav hover sub nav and this is a little divider line for the navigation as well so we just drag them across they're going to replace the originals and when we've done that we'll see if it's changed any colors here yep change that to green and these to red now then we have changed the blue one have we let's see if we've got one huh? no we're not changing all we need to do we're going to change this all we need to do is just change the color of the image so original this is the color it is now so let's
let's just change it using GIMP. We'll just change it to a plain green to save a bit of time. That one looks okay. All we need to do is just fill it with the bucket fill. Oh. We'll add a new layer and make it more. more um, reliable. Right, so we save that, just telling us it needs to flatten the image. Then, if we're lucky, should be able to hmm, drag that. That's when we changed it, it was blue, it was that one there, like that. We just changed it to green, drag it across, replaces the original. Now, when we change this, this will be green, but there's still a blue stripe there which we need to change. There we go, and that's because there's an, an image and a background colour in that. Now if you've seen Firebug before, all you need to do with Firebug is open the web page you're using, use Firebug to select the elements on the page that you want, which is that one we want, and then if we come over here, we'll click this to open the style sheet and then this is one we we're using so all we need to know is what color we need and the color is this one I've written it down so if we just change that color this stripe will change there we go that's all we need to do but you need to that that's change the style sheet and then need to upload the style sheet um what you do with firebug you can change the, the style sheet here and then you can copy it so if we control all control copy and then just paste that over the top of our original style sheet and it will save the style sheet for us well we're getting a bit uh, towards 15 minutes which is a long time i was hoping to make it a shorter video um but that's basically what you do oh i made a little recap list for you stop the video at the end when you get to this bit and just go through this and make sure you've done everything on the list and then hopefully it um it should tell you everything you need to know well thanks for watching and i do hope i haven't confused you too much with that one bye for now